was able to run. Second and seven, Ansich left. He gains about four, and that should bring us to the end of the third quarter. Tuscan will have the ball at midfield with a big third down. No score in the Division Six Championship. Welcome back to Orange Coast College. That's the tail end of the first play of the fourth quarter. Tustin with the ball, a scoreless game between Sunny Hills and Tustin. Tustin in black. I'm John Overall, joined by Pete Weitzner for this Division VI championship contest between two Orange County teams. Like I said, no score to report. And remember, we're still looking for that Owls Woodcraft player of the game. John, as we take time out to measure this play, it was very close on the carry by Ansich. We want to thank our sponsors who allowed us to bring the first football game, first of many basketball games as well. We hope to bring in the Orange County News Channel. The Leather Hideout, Owls Woodcraft. First down for the Pillars, by the way. Carl Jr. and Financial Center West. We really want to thank them. All right, we've got our four sponsors. Thank. Let's get back to the ball game. Once again, Tustin. In the dark uniforms, if you just joined us, you've missed a dandy ball game so far. No score, a defensive ball game all the way. Uh, one note, Ron Goods still out of the game with a sore ankle. So that means Visco Ansich has been getting a workout. He hasn't come back since that one set in which he didn't carry the ball. It was really in just as a decoy or early in the third quarter. Ansich smothered there by a number of Sunny Hills Lancers. Clayton Lau, one of, one of three Lancers there to greet Ansich for no game. That'll bring it up to a second and ten for Tustin. Quarterback Andy Borza with the rollout. He fires an incomplete pass intended for Clemens on the right side. That'll bring up third and ten. Eric Clemens, the junior, caught a pass for a first down earlier in the ball game. On the Sunny Hills 48-yard line, Borza to pass once again. He's got plenty of time. And he completes the pass. This time TV Love, 17 yards on that. That'll be a first down for the Tillers. Big pickup for Tustin. TV Love had 21 catches during the season, 380 yards. He had a couple of touchdowns, and that a big, big play. Keeps the drive alive. Tustin still looking to get on the board. They had a couple of opportunities go awry on this field goal. This, this go answers again. For eight yards on that, out to the Sunny Hills 31-yard line. Set up second and two for the Tillers. Now at the Sunny Hills 23-yard line after that eight-yard answer to run. It's a long drive. Tustin started deep in its own territory. You recall Visco busted his biggest play of the game, a 16-yarder up the middle, and that started it. Borza over center, takes a snap, and again it's Visco Ansich. He is going to be a sore young man tomorrow. <laughs> he sure is. Shannon Nip, one of many, again, in on the tackle. It's going to be very close. They'll probably measure this one. Looked like about a seven-yard game. Oh, he got it. Got the first down. That'll out to the Sunny Hills 16-yard line. Okay, first and ten from the Sunny Hills 21-yard line. I stand corrected. Borza calling the signal. Surprise, surprise, answer with the ball again. I know this man very well by now. John, he's still running strong. He's 5'9", 180, really a good running back build. He's tough to get at. He gained seven on that play. He's got to be looking at about 30 carries at this point. I've talked to him a number of times throughout the season. Very nice young man. He carries a 4.0 grade point average. All around good student. I'll just bet not a lot of fat on him. Okay, once again, Ansich. Probably going to lose 10 pounds tonight. He's got another first down. It's going to be first and goal for Tustin. Inside the 10-yard line of Sunny Hills, it looks like about the 8-yard line. And uh, Ansich holding that right arm as if it's kind of sore. First and goal at the 8. Here's Visco. No gain on that one. Maybe a yard at most. John, I wouldn't be surprised if Coach Marion Ansich plays it a little conservative here. I know his kicker missed the short field goal a while ago. Maybe he'll try and place this one a little more centered for him, but I don't think they're going to put it up in the air. Certainly his defense has held Sunny Hills down all game now. Second and goal. Of course, they'll probably give it to Ansich a couple more times here. He's got the ability to go inside or outside. 
no sense in risking an interception at this time. Like we said, it's to answer. Ooh, big hit by Sullivan. Boy, Sullivan's played a great game on both sides of the ball. Sunny Hills, six-yard line, third and goal for Tustin. Look for them to try and center it for the field goal attempt. There it is, towards the center of the field. Sunderland, the first to get to add six for the tackle. He's brought down by about three Lancers. Just inside the five-yard line, that'll bring up fourth down, and that means Matt Poole will come on. 0 for 2 so far in this game. One of 52, 51 yards or so. The second one a 24-yarder. He has missed two so far, like I said. This a very important game. Just over six minutes left in this contest. And if Tustin hopes to win it, they have to have this field goal go through the upright. The right hash mark for a right-footed sidewinder. It's perfect. High snap. Visco gets it down, and it's good. There's our first score of the game. Tustin takes a 3-0 lead over Sunny Hills in the fourth quarter. Don, the kick was obviously the main thing, but another big play by Visco Anthony. That was a high snap, and he caught it and got it down. And he's doing that with a tender right arm, as, you have, as we have seen. He's been carrying it kind of gingerly. This the kickoff after the touchdown. Matt Koo puts a foot into it, into the end zone. I guess that really fired him up there. Let's the 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 uh, review this Tustin scoring drive. 17 plays, 87 yards. It started when Visco Antic busted a big one up the middle. And basically it featured Visco, Visco, and more Visco. And some good work by the Tuscan offense. 17 plays, I'm not sure, but I would venture to guess 15 by Visco Ansich on that drive. John, don't forget that big third down pass to Kiwi Love for 17 yards. Okay, Sunny Hills with a first and 10 on the 20-yard line after the touchback. Mike Sullivan with the ball. And a nice gain, about eight yards on that one. Guthridge and Vickers in on the tackle. Well, with our first score up on the board, it's looking like Visco Ansich is the main guy in the lead for our Al's Woodcraft player of the game. He's the front runner, but it's a three-point game. It's up in the air. Just about six minutes to go. Sunny Hills has not been able to move the ball very well all game. Tustin's defense throwing a net over this offense, but uh, it's just about six minutes to go. Sunny Hills trying to get things going. Sunny Hills is capable. Second and two. Overby. First down. First and 10 at the 35. John and Sunny Hills Lancers were talking about a team that scored more than 20 points in its last eight games. I know they've been shut out up to now, but they can bust out. And Hakeem McKenzie could be the man to do it. Okay, second down, a first down here, Overby around the right side. And he is brought there after about an eight-yard gain. And look at Overby hold his left shoulder, left arm. Oh, he's hurt. But he's not going towards the sideline, he's going back towards the hub. Boy, these kids want this game bad. John McKenzie, Sullivan, Overby, they're all seniors. This is their last high school football. On the Sun Hills 43-yard line, second and two for the Lancers. Pitch out to Sullivan, cuts back against the grain, but he's dragged down from behind. I believe it's number 50, Aaron Guthridge with the tackle. Another candidate for that player of the game. Guthridge has made several tackles for losses tonight. That sets up third and three for the Lancers on the Sunny Hills 42-yard line. Akeem McKenzie back to pass, overthrows Overby, and look at Overby, he cannot lift his arm up over his head. Ball sailed a little on Hakeem. Fourth down, John. Sunny Hills with its back up against the wall, fourth down, about three yards to go. They have not been able to move the ball at all, and you know Tim DeBaney is going to have to go for it here. Well, it's under five minutes, and I think you're right. The fans want him to go for it. There's no time to, to risk. Uh, you can't kick the ball and hope Tustin gives it back to you. They're going for it. McKenzie to pass. Got him. Stephen Che. And it's right near the yardage mark. It looks like a first down to me. What a gutsy call. The only call by Tim Devaney. Done. They needed three yards. They didn't pick up any extra. But they, <laughs> they got what they needed. And that just might be enough to inspire this team to move against this uh, Tustin defense. 
pair of seniors hooking up for a big fourth down conversion. First and ten from the 46. Sullivan around the left side. Oh, he's moving well there. Look at he's got him. Oh, Kiwi Love with a game-saving tackle right there. Sullivan was off to the end zone, but Kiwi Love with a great tackle. 16 yards from Mike Sullivan, a man who averaged more than seven yards a carry during the regular season. Wow, what a good run there by uh, Sullivan. Well, he's fast. He gets in that open field, and he really accelerates. It's on the Tustin, 39-yard line. First and 10 for the Lancers. They're starting to move the ball like they want to win this game. I don't think anyone's left the stadium. <laughs> About 10,000 people still packed in here. Overby to the right side, carrying it in one hand. That's dangerous. Knocked out of bounds there. Overby holding that thing like a loaf of bread. Plus, he took a good hit on his left shoulder. He's still hurting, but he's still playing. And uh, what a great guy this player is. We talked to him at the CIF banquet, Rick Milky and I. Just a nice guy, you know, another good student. Uh, works for some charities in town. Just a, a great all-around person. Sonny Hill's also doing a good job of mixing it up. They'll go Sullivan left, and they'll go Overby right. Three minutes to go. Second and five on the Tustin 33-yard line. Back to pass. McKenzie fakes once, avoids a tackle, gets it off. Overthrown, but what a great move by Hakeem McKenzie to avoid the sack. John, I want to tell you, he had Stephen Che open, and that one did not miss by much. That was an incredible job to avoid the sack. Third and five, another big play for the Lancers on the Tustin 33. Sullivan with the ball again to the outside. That's been working pretty much all this drive. Sullivan with a big gain inside the 20-yard line. Another 16-yard gain. Mike Sullivan running left. TV Love in on the tackle. John, they are just mowing him down on that left side. I don't know what the difference is here in this drive, but for some reason, Sunny Hills now able to run on the outside of Tustin's defense. They had not been able to do it the whole game until this drive. Sunny Hills is a little bit of a bigger team. You have to wonder, perhaps, the pillars are wearing down. First and 10 from about 17. They are within field goal range, but they don't want to tie here. That's Overby. Tackled by Josh Hilton. No, they don't want to tie. They're in field goal range. Still plenty of time to go for that winning touchdown. That'll bring up second and nine for the Lancers. They're on about the 16-yard line. You couldn't have asked for a better football game. Inside the 10, Sunny Hill. Overby cuts inside. Oh, good cut. He's off to the corner, dragged down. Spent most of his time running parallel. Didn't get his shoulders turned upfield. Pulled down, it looked like by TV Love once again. You need about two here, John. Third and two, Tustin's nine yard line. McKenzie on the keeper, and he's That's got the first call. down. That was a good call. If you look at the Tustin line, they were spread far too wide for a short yardage play. That's because Sunny Hills has been going outside. A good call by Tim Devaney, if he did call that play to send McKenzie up the middle. It is first and goal, John, overall at the five-yard line. What a drive. They couldn't move the ball all game, and here they are starting on their own 20. First and goal at the Tuscan five. Well, you, <laughs> you can't write a script like this one. They couldn't do anything all game. Now here in the closing minutes, less than two minutes to go. McKenzie again stopped about the three-yard line. He I, got a couple. Kind of fool me once there. <laughs> That'll bring up Second down. He does that two more times, though, Pete. He's in the end zone, and then uh, Dustin will be hard-pressed to get back in front. James Rojas made the tackle. Second down now inside the five. This is Overby. Pats inside. He's close. He looks like he's got it. So Sonny Hills believes he does, but no word from the officials yet. They're not giving it to him. Johnny got a heck of a block from Jeff Hicks on that play. It's going to be third and goal from about the half-yard line. Looks like he had it there, but they'll have two more tries at it. I have a feeling they won't go for the field goal. The Lancers trying to inspire the fans, saying, give us some support, people. Not a bad ball game. <laughs> Understatement of the year. Overby 
That's it. Touchdown. He's in. Sonny Hills has done it. Six to three. They still have.